Hi guys, I'm going to be showing you how to download Best PS2 emulator for PC in 2019. Uh, there's a, a few other videos showing you how to do this currently, but some of them don't show you all the steps, and I would like to do that for you. So, all you have to do is go onto Google, we're going to type on PS2 emulator, get that one in, and we're going to be downloading PCSX2, and this is the first link here. So I'll be clicking on this link. I will provide this link in the description for everyone. Um, and so this is what the main website is going to look like. Just make sure you're on this. You haven't clicked anything else. Doubt you have, but just be careful. And then download. Get PCX2 here. These are the operating systems it supports: Windows, Linux, and Mac. I currently have Windows 10, so I'm going to click on Windows. Once you've reached this page, do not click on the sponsored link. There will be a green bubble here if you do not have Adblock. Don't click on that. Um, the actual download button is over here. So we're going to include this first one here and click download. Wait for that. Save the file. And I'll carry on from there in a minute. Now, once you've uh, saved your file, you're going to want to find it. So click on your start. Type in downloads open up your downloads folder and it should be right at the top there so just drag this onto your desktop close out of that now and we're going to want to double click on this one click yes you don't want to change any of these you keep all of them next keep it in the default location uh, if you want to change it that's up to you uh, I'm, for me, I can keep it in program files, so it's absolutely fine. So we're going to install that one. And we're going to close out of that one. And there we go. We should now have PCX2 downloaded on our computer. And from there, I'm going to show you how to set up fully. Be right back. Right, and now for the next stage of this process, we are going to require the BIOS files for the PLA Station 2 to get the emulator up and running. Uh, so I'm going to get them from emulation.gametechwiki. I will provide the link in the description once again. And we're going to look for, scroll for the PlayStation 2 BIOS files. Now once you've hit it, we're going to click on the BIOS files right here. Uh, I'm going to continue without disabling. It's up to you. It's going to take you to Hotspur Shield downloading. That's absolutely fine. And we're going to download the BIOS right here. I'll be back again once it's fully downloaded to show you what to do with it. Now, once your BIOS files are downloaded, head back over to your downloads folder. Downloads. Search for it. There it is. PS2. BIOS, it should come in a 7 zip folder like this. Close out of this one. And what we're going to do, I'd like to keep it nice and clean. So, what I'm going to do is create a new folder, right click, new folder. I'm just going to call this BIOS, like so. And then I'm going to drag this one into the BIOS folder. Double click to open this. Right click, go to 7 zip, and extract here. Now, at this stage, you may not have 7 zip. I will provide the link to download 7-zip in the description. There are plenty of great tutorials on YouTube to download 7-zip. It's nice and simple, easy. You just need to extract this file. I'm sure most of you have it though. So once you've got the file, extract here. Wait for it to go through the process. That's nice and done. You can now delete the zip folder. Do not need that anymore. And we've got our BIOS. So, next stage is going to be to open our PCXX2 emulator. And here we go. It's going to come up with the first time configuration. Uh, language sector, I'm going to leave it system default. You can change it wherever you like here, but it should automatically do it. But you can always change it here. So, we'll click next. Uh, I currently already have the files downloaded, but for you, this, so this won't come up. But I'm just going to import it here. Now when you come out, you'll get this screen. We're going to ignore this for now. We'll come back to it later. Next. And this is going to be the BIOS. So as you can see, currently I have 
all the BIOSes for Europe, USA, Japan, all the different versions, you're going to have a blank box. So, what we're going to have to do is find your BIOS. So what we're going to do is click Browse. We're going to go to your desktop where we've just saved your BIOS. You're going to search for it here. And you're going to select the folder. Just like that. I'll do it for you just to prove it works. And now look. So I'll fill that once again with all of the things. So I'm going to click USA, latest version. I'm not too sure what the differences are. I'm personally choosing USA because all the games I'm downloading are going to be in mostly USA format. So I'm not going to run into any compatibility issues. Um, so we'll click finish. I would recommend that because the website I'll show you will most have USA ROMs. Carry on. Finish. And here we go, we now have PCSX2. So now I'm going to show you a few things from here, which are great to make, you know, make sure everything's fantastic. So first we're going to set your controller. So we're going to go to controllers, plugin settings, wait for that to come up. And here we go, it'll come up with this. I'm personally using the Xbox controller. As you can see, it's recognized as input. Um, make sure your controller is on. Maybe you might have to restart, like close everything down, turn your controller on, bring it back up. You can use a keyboard and everything if you want. Um, and then here's all your pads. So you can change everything from here. All the buttons here. Uh, I will say for most, for, for example, the Xbox controller I'm using, it will automatically make a great setup for you. So you won't have to change anything. You literally can just plug in your controller and play. Uh, just make sure you, you know, select Lily Pad and Pad 1A. Um, and that will be sorted for you. So now, once you've seen you can see pad zero, right? Once you select that, just click OK, and you have your controller sorted out. So next thing I would like you to do is head over to your video plugin settings once again, and here we want to change your adapter. So depending on what you have, I'm using my GTX 970. Uh, some of you obviously you'll have different graphics cards. Whatever you want to select here. And then you also have default hardware device. So whatever your choice is, you don't have this, select just default hardware. If you do, then I recommend selecting that one. Uh, then we have the renderer. Now, personally, I've changed it. When you open it, it will probably be in direct 3D9. Uh, I personally recommend putting it in 3D11. Um, but you might want to play around with some of these. I mean, I've been playing everything in 3D11 so far with absolutely zero issues. So if you want to go for that straight away, it should be fine. But, you know, if something's not working, just make sure to just change these around. And it might work. So, But for the most part, 100% no problem so far on 3D11. Then we want to go down to here. So this is where we can set our custom resolution. I'm playing on a 1440p screen. So I've set the resolution for 1440p. Um, now, most of you will probably be on 1080p. So to change that all we'll do is type in 1920 by 1080 and that would put your system all the games in 1080p up res for you already which is great i also recommend putting on anti-rock filtering to like eight times you can put 16 times uh personally you know if it's hard to run you can turn it off or whatever but you know i recommend eight times it really doesn't use up much at all and you can you can change around most of this. I kept most the same. I just wanted to change the resolution. I'm just going to change that back for myself. So now you've got oh, that. So your controller set up. Your settings are set up. And I'll be right back with you with some more information. So something else I would highly recommend uh, is actually getting your games in widescreen by 16 by 9. Uh, so to this, we're going to go on config. Emulation settings, and we're gonna head down to GS window. Uh, so just yeah, click on that one, and we have aspect ratio here. So we have it will come officially with standard four by three, because this is what run the original PlayStation Two used to run off when we had those tiny little TVs back in the day. But obviously, you probably don't want huge black bars on your screen when you're playing, so I'd recommend using widescreen sixteen by nine. Um, so just select that one. You can leave, you can change the window size. I mean, I normally full screen my game anyway once I'm in. You know, I just open it up and full screen it. 
Um, but if you like playing in windowed, then you can set the window here. I just leave it as default. And you've also got other options here, like double click to go full screen and default mode full screen here if you want to turn any of that on. But yeah, I do recommend widescreen. Um, yeah, it's just a little bit of a small screen otherwise. I'm just going to quickly add this in. Another tip to improve performance of your emulator. This is basically if you have four cores or more. Um, you're going to go into emulation settings here. And we're going down to speed hacks. And just make sure you have multi-threaded micro ticked here. So you tick that, click apply and press OK. Just a quick little tip. I only recommend it if you have four cores or more. Uh, it will definitely help performance out. So now you've got your PS2 emulator up and running. You're going to need some games to play it. I'm sure you have some old PS2 games, maybe you've lost them, maybe you sold some in the past, whatever it may be. This website is going to have all the games you could possibly want. There's two pages, I'll link them both in the description below. This is part one, as you see, all in alphabetical order. Everything, literally everything. I'm sure there's a few ob really obscure games not on here, but for the most part, you know, you've got all the FIFAs, Formula One, Final Fantasies. Everything you want. Um, and we're going to show you how to download them. So when you first go on, you'll see there's going to be a locked status bar here for you. Because you do not have an account. And you're going to have to create one by clicking. So you click sign in here. Go down an account. And you create one. Go through that process. Um, literally, use whatever you want. I personally use the throwaway email. Uh, you just have to confirm. It's your account. Just log into your throwaway one. Log in your account and that's all, they won't spam you with anything. You can use your normal one if you want. It's just everything online, I normally just use a throwaway one. It's just easier that way. Um, but once you've downloaded, you logged in, this will unlock and you should be able to click on any of these games. So you'll just click on it, double click like that. It will download a 7-zip file and I'll show you from there what to do. So I'm back, I'm just going to quickly show you what to do. So I'm going to download Crazy Taxi as an example here. So I've got my account, so everything's unlocked. I'm going to double click Crazy Taxi. And here it goes, it's going to go in the download here. Wait for that to fully download. I'll be right back once it's downloaded. So my game's downloaded, Crazy Taxi. Uh, I've headed back into my downloads folder. I'm going to drag it onto the desktop. Close out my download folder. And like we did for BIOS, we're now going to create a new folder. So, new folder. I'm going to call this ISO. I'm going to drag crazy into our ISOs, like so. Open that one up. And once again, we're going to go through the process of 7-zip. Extract here. Wait for it to extract. now get rid of that one and we have the game right here now I'm going to rename it rename it whatever you want as long as don't change the bin make sure you rename it so I'm going to write taxi driver just like that and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right click on my PS2 emulator and I'm going to open file location. And what I'd recommend you do is you actually drag this ISO folder like so into here. I've already got one here, as you can see. So I'm not going to do it this time. But I'd open up my ISO folder. I'm going to drag taxi driver. And yeah, I'm going to give it permission. And now I have Taxi Driver in my ISO folder. I'm going to close out of this one. You'll just drag the folder in, so you'll basically just have your folder here. You drag it in with it. I'll store your games here personally. It makes everything nice and neat. I'd also recommend putting your BIOS in here. Once again, just makes everything nice and neat. You know where everything is. It's a lot. So now we've got the game downloaded. We've got the ISO folder all set up. We're going to open up our PCXX2 emulator. We're going to go to CD, ISO selector, and these are all the games I have installed, obviously. We're going to select Browse, and these are all the games I have. Um, just go find the folder. So if you've left it on your desktop, obviously just click Desktop, find the file there, and you just basically click 
what you want. So I want taxi driver, the one I want. So I'm going to click open. And then we're going to go on system. Boot CD full or fast. Full is basically for the full nostalgia. If you want the whole PlayStation 2 menu, open up and have that classic music. Or if you want to just go straight into the game, click fast. I'm going to do full to start off because we need to set up your PS2. PlayStation 2. So we're going to select our language, get your controller or keyboard, whatever you're using, and click enter. I'm using English, so I'm going to click English, but you have all the different languages here. Time zone, it doesn't really matter. That's fine. Perfect. Just keep clicking. Let it load up. And here we go, crazy taxi. As you can see, I'll give it literally a quick 30 seconds of gameplay so it's running. And if you see in the top left, we'll have speed. That should be always pretty much 100% or 95% plus. That means it's running at you know, full capacity, as you see, 60 FPS. That's where you want your game running at most of the time. There we go. X confirm. It will automatically have a memory card for you, don't worry. And crazy taxi. So as you can see, it's all set up, all working. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope your PS2 is gaming. I hope you have a great time playing them. Have fun, guys. 2019 tutorial. If you want any more tutorials on emulators, such as Dolphin Emulator, Semu, anything like that, feel free to subscribe, like the video, and I'll create them for you. So, cheers guys, in a bit.